Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. Hello, everybody. It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got some pretty big news in the Madden community from Kralo himself through the stream, guys. Finally, we have some things being addressed that should have been addressed a long time ago. Should have been addressed two years ago. And they're finally addressing some Madden issues, some server issues. Um, there's some notes, some blitz stuff. Hopefully, all this is going to be super important and, you know, helps the game get better because one of these things that they are supposed to be fixing is an issue that has literally plagued Madden for at least a year or so now, and it has caused me to not want to play online as much, and it, it's a serious issue, and not just me, guys. There's plenty of people, plenty of YouTubers who don't enjoy playing Weekend League as much anymore because you have to put so much effort into Weekend League, and one little thing going wrong could just ruin your whole weekend. So, like, it's like anything in life, right? If you're, if you're 20 and 0 in Weekend League, you're loving it. If you're 25 and 0, you had a blast like you're number one in the world probably now look like at this right so let's say you start off weekend league five and out and by the way the issue i'm referring to is the disconnect issue where people can disconnect glitch you like they disconnect glitch you and you get the loss and they get a win or even worse the game just disconnects itself and they just give someone randomly a loss now this is very demoralized and let's say like you're, you're 10 and 0 right you have so much motivation you want to finish weekly you think this could be your week you get a disconnect glitch now you're down one one loss Going again, you get a second disconnect glitch. Now you're down two losses. Now you're ten and two. That just ruins two of your games. Now you can't even get top. Uh, you know, you can't even get first in the world. You know you're gonna lose at least two to three more times because you know we're not we're not all gods at this game. So now you already know you're not going. You're going at least like seventeen and you know seventeen and seven. So now you're already upset. Then the next game you don't you don't play with as much heart because you know you already lost. You already lost those two games. And now before you know it, the whole weekend league's over and you quit. That's the, that is what happened to weekend league, and that is what's so like I can't play twenty five games straight knowing that pretty much guaranteed I already have two to three losses on disconnects. And then with my own skill, I'm probably going to get another two to five losses, right? I have some people like CeCe, who's usually like a top 100 guy. He's he's had five losses. He, literally, he's won 20 in a week and then also had five disconnect losses. Like, that's horrible. Like, putting all that effort and time into it, and that, that's what you get hit with. So that's why, hopefully, it's the, the, what they said is that they are addressing it, and they do think that they're going to have a fix for this pretty soon. So I'm hoping that is the case. Now, guys, before we get into the rest of this video, and I cover some of the notes and stuff, make sure you go down below, turn that subscribe button, turn on that OD bell. Like the video. If you want to be shout out on the Poodle Squad, turn on the Noti Bell. Comment down below Poodle Squad and like the video. And guys, for today's Poodle Squad shout out, we do have, let's see, Stop Mopey Abuse 2020. Shout out to me for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support each and every day. But moving on, guys. Uh, if you guys need coins for anything, uh, to pick up for this the Blitz uh, the Blitz event coming up on Thanksgiving night or to Autumn Blast, Team of the Week tomorrow, head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Take advantage. Use code Poodle 15% off your order. But yeah, moving on. So back to the notes. So yeah, for the disconnect glitch, you guys know, like I said, you go to the deal. It's horrible. It has been a, a serious issue. And the worst case is that, like, you know, it's one thing when the game disconnects, right? And like you both get losses or nothing happens. And, like it is what it is. First off, actually, let's back that up. Disconnect things even bad when you don't get a loss. Like, right? Like you played three to four quarters. Let's say like, you know, you were supposed to hang out with your friends. You're playing a weekly game real quick. You waste 40 minutes of your time in general. Or like you only have two hours to play before you got to go to bed tonight for work or something. Or you come home from work and you play that one game, right? Like you have time for one game. You really trying to enjoy your one little hour of Madden before you gotta go to bed or go take your kids to school, whatever you gotta do. And you hop on, you play it to the fourth quarter, and the game disconnects. Either a, the game disconnects and you get no stats recorded, nothing, and you just wasted your one hour, so you felt like it was worth nothing. Or even worse, it gives you a loss, and now you have a loss on your hands, and now you gotta leave for work or, or to go to bed or whatever you gotta do. And now that's it. Like it's just so demoralizing for the Madden community as a whole. I think fixing this could go a long way. And revitalizing like Madden, the Madden feel right now. I think that's very important for them to go focus on personally. But moving on from that, guys. I mean, that's not the only thing that was talked about today, but that's, that's an important aspect. Now, I don't know how they fix this. It would either be more more relevant tracking to who disconnected or on what end, like who was on the dashboard, or maybe I don't know how they'd even track all that. Or maybe it's if there's a disconnect. It's just it's an auto. It's an auto. Um, just, it's it. No one wins. Like if if it's a disconnect, both Pete, no one gets a win, which is kind of dumb. Because if I'm up 40 points and someone genuinely lags out or turns their Xbox off, it shouldn't be a disconnect. You know what I'm saying? Like I can see why you could take advantage of that. So they'll purposely disconnect themselves to just get a fair, a fair, you know, no count. So that's definitely tough. But could there be make rights? We were discussing this before on Facetime. I was we were thinking, could there be make rights? It's possible, considering the fact that this has been an issue for so long. Maybe they're gonna track people who disconnected a certain amount. Or made reports about how you know they went 20 0 and then lost five games with disconnects. Now, is it po is it possible? Yes. Now, do I think there'll be make rights? More than likely, no, guys. I don't really see there being make rights just because this is happening for over two years. So you have to either unless they make right the whole community, they do like a, a, a server fix make right where everyone gets certain you know, free patch or something. 
it would have to be for almost everyone because I know everyone's experienced it. Like I've experienced it. I know almost anyone who's played online has experienced this kind of thing. Uh, it's just it's been a very relevant thing in the past, and this year specifically, it's been it's been horrible. Like, there's people literally making the uh, the Madden Championship, you know, club stuff, and they're just disconnecting away. Like it is a horrible situation. Hopefully that is fixed. Now, like I said, for make rights, it would be probably packs, maybe some coins, maybe a cool event for us, like a you know all inclusive weekend league that has double rewards or something without disconnecting anymore but i don't see them doing make rights because i just don't know how you track that you either give it to everyone but you can't really just track one specific person moving on from that guys though they did announce that there will be a blitz event special stream coming up now they said more than likely thursday morning unless he can con uh, can convince the team to do it on a wednesday night but more than likely i think it's gonna be thursday morning which is cool i prefer i honestly prefer in the morning a nice morning video to have everyone like all hyped up for it now it does come out the 26th which is uh, Thanksgiving at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Eastern time, which kind of sucks. They do it like right around when people are eating. I mean, well, not everyone's eating at 8 o'clock, but I feel like Thanksgiving you typically eat a little bit later. For most people, maybe not. I don't really know. Maybe that's just my family. But people are eating, you know, from like anywhere between, I'd say, 4 to 7 is when you're probably going to be eating. And then you kind of sit around the table and you talk and you hang out. So, like, obviously I have to run back here and record, which kind of sucks, but it's part, of, it's, part, it's, part of, it's part of the lifestyle. But either way, guys, it is going to be 8 p.m. So the special stream will probably be uh, Thursday morning at, you know, 1030 Eastern time. They will announce the Blitz stuff. Now, I don't know how much they could really go over. They'll probably just go over the format because obviously maybe the offers will keep secret. Maybe they'll probably just go over the Masters. Uh, like the Blitz Masters will probably go over some, like, you know, maybe the first offer, the format, the color, the card art, um, solos, maybe house rules, maybe any LTD event we're going to be getting, maybe a Thanksgiving LTD. But other than that, I think we'll be seeing pretty generic stuff. But it's still going to be a really fun stream. Hopefully, we do end up, uh, you know, getting a good stream out of that. And, of course, the Blitz event's going to be super co uh, fun, guys. So, if you guys are ready for it, if you guys plan to participate heavily this year, get the credit card ready, get the Microsoft points ready, get the PSN cards ready, because that is what, this This is a money spent. This is the definition of a money spent promo now. Is it going to be fun regardless for any user? Yes, because despite, I will probably won't be spending money, but on the on the bright side, you know what I can go ahead and do? I can go ahead and pick up, you know, the Tyree Kill Master, Lamar Jackson Master, Deion, so whatever they end up doing, the Randy Mossman, I'll just buy them the coins, all right? Uh, I will play the LTD solos. I will play the LTD events. I will I will use the Blitz Bolts for offers. I will you know I will collect some of that stuff. But I if I don't spend money, you guys don't have to. Like I said, it's you could still play within it, and they've gotten really good at doing that the last few years. Because prior to this year, Blitz event, prior to last year actually, Blitz event was always strictly like there was no such thing as like LTD solos. There was no such thing as house events. So like strictly, it was like we drop pack, you buy pack. Like that's it. That that was like the end of it. And trust me, that was that was still very fun. But now they made it so you like you know a regular user can you know grind a few hours of solos, grind a few hours of house rules, get enough blitz bolts. Like if, especially if you're like a 15, 14 year old kid, 13 year old kid who doesn't have a credit card, and their parents obviously aren't just shelling out money to you all day. Um, you know you have no means of, of actually touching these packs. This gives you a way to you know gather some blitz bolts on your own. You know work for it a little bit too, which is kind of like a good concept as well. So hopefully you know that does go well with everything, and hopefully you know the the, the reveal is cool. And, and and you know that was last year, maybe even this year. There's even more no money spent aspects like. Maybe there's going to be packs of coins this year. Maybe there's going to be offers with fallen leaves. Like, I'm just hoping because then it makes it way more enjoyable for everyone versus, a, you know, a select few. Now, last year's Blitz event, it was fun. It was definitely fun. Now, I wish they would have done more. We only had one Blitz event last year. It was uh, the, the one for Thanksgiving. They didn't do a Christmas one. They didn't do a Super Bowl one, which we had like three the year before. But that's about it, guys. That's about it for the entire video. I think I've, you know, talked about enough here. I think I covered what I want to pretty much cover. But that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you want a chance to shout out on the Poodle Squad, like the video, turn on the Naughty Bell, comment down below Poodle Squad. Uh, if you guys need coins, head over to MarReserve.com. Use code Poodle, 15% off. Let me know what you guys think of all these different disconnects. Let me know your personal disconnect stories down in the comment section below. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.